Try some of these chances out. Yeah, left. Well, now there's chalice dungeons, which are, um, they're kind of hard to explain, I guess. They're like, they're kind of semi-randomly generated places, but there's stuff to do in them. Like, I don't know how much I have to, like, grind out these, but they are, like, I got a bell watch. Bell watch man. But there is stuff to do here. But this is like weird content. This is like Sierra Leone or something content. Like, you can play the entire game without doing any chalices or like finding them. I've never, I, the thing is, I'm completely blind to pretty much all chalices. I've never really done any of them. So this will be interesting to see how it goes. So, like, the first chalices to unlock are pretty easy, I think. But they get, uh, they get harder and harder as time goes on. But they're also filled with, like, I don't like how loud that is. <laughs> I, they're, they're also filled with, like, enemies that aren't in any other part of the game. So chalices are kind of like, um, I don't know how to explain it, like there's, I think from what I understand, these are like the old tombs and stuff that were here. This is where they originally found like the old gods, like buried deep beneath these chalices. I think, I'm not 100% sure what chalices are, but... They're not very important for most things. Oh god, there's you. I'm so... Yeah. I'm powerful enough just to destroy that guy at least. Maybe I should just bring out the hammer. So let me get to the next. Now let me get to like the next level. Yeah. But I'm not sure exactly how to unlock like the later stuff. Like what I need to do exactly. Alright, just get rid of those. Let's just uh
try that one as well. So like you need special items to do to perform rituals. So I guess the further down I like the further I go, the more the harder stuff I do. I guess. So there's like different levels to these places as well. Yep, and then I unlock to this now so I can go through here. Again, I, I have no idea how much, like, how long it takes to go through all the chalices, but we'll see. Because, like, this is, like, like, net, like, this is, like, unlimited content, but there are, like, fixed chalices with specific things. Yeah, like... Oh, jeez. Oh, wow. I am... <laughs> Alright. Well, that was that boss. Easy, yeah. I think this is like an early on one. Cause you can unlock the chalices after the, um, the Blood Star Beast, which is a fairly early enemy. But again, the Bloodstar Beast is completely optional as well. But that enemy, uh, you do encounter, you do encounter that enemy in the main game as well. I think this is a fixed one, which is why there's notes. Like there's like randomly generated ones and specifically made chalice dungeons. And I think if you do enough of the, like you have to do some randomly generated ones. Okay, yeah, I've never seen this enemy before. Okay, that is a completely new enemy that's only in Chalice Dungeons. And it's weird, because there's so many, like, there's unique enemies and bosses and stuff that are only in that. But that one enemy I just fought, there's one of them in, like, that you find in the game, but it's like a one-time enemy, I believe. And I don't think it's as, like, um, has as much health as that one. Alright, are you weak to crush? Not really. But, you die quickly. Alright, I should bring out the antidote just in case. I hear a big boy walking around. Might be up top. Yeah, oh. You're not the big boy, but... There's other things. So yeah, there's there's a lot of content that is just like that most people never see because they have to go through all these chalices, and this is my first time going through here, so I'm actually blind to these chalices. Oh, I got slime. enemy as well. There's like other slimes and not one that looks like that. I have to be paranoid of slimes dropping on me. Whatever they are. Alright, I can't... Oh, I can climb up here. Oh shit. Oh, I need to switch this thing around. Cause I have it, st I have this again set on, uh, like my Kirk camera is set on just doing nothing but thrust attacks. Cause this is what I fought the Orphan of Coast with. So I really don't want to do that. Because now my like regular one attacks are actually like incredibly weak. What is all this noise? There's a lot of stuff around. Oh. 
But also in these. In these tracks, there's a lot of. Uh, like, these ritual bloods are nice. Because these ritual bloods, I need to conduct other chalice stuff. So I think over time. Uh, I need to actually, like, pull, like, a lever or something. Nope, that's not a lever, that's just a skull pile. Maybe I have to climb up here. Hello? There we go, man. But yeah, over time I just need to unlock deeper and deeper chalices, I think. And that's it. That's like all I have to do. I got the main point of this. Like, until I get to like the very last the bottom chalices. Oh, shit. such a neat weapon, for reals. Like, I got it before. Being able to just hold, hold on L2 and just like, chainsaw my way through people. Like this. That's neat. That probably is really bad for the durability of that weapon though. But it's still really neat looking. Right, another chest. Time for inquisitiveness. Oh! Shit! Another chalice. Like, a different one. That's like a different type of chalice. So I think... Yeah, it's, I'm not sure exactly. Like, I didn't look up what I need to do. I'll probably look that up eventually. Just because I don't want to be stuck doing like the same chalices over and over sort of thing if I don't need to. But I'll look up eventually what I have to do to unlock all the chalices stuff. But I figure I'm probably on the right path at least right now. Like, I feel like going through the fixed ones will give me what I need. And then I might just have to replay other dungeons of a similar type. So I can, uh... I guess I have to drop down. Like, replay dungeons of a similar type so I can... Uh, unlock, like, the materials required for deeper ones. That's my guess, at least, was what I am going to have to eventually do. So I went in a big circle. I'm pretty sure there's more to this than just getting this chalice, though, right? Cause that was all as like a side route. Like my main goal is to get a uh, and kill bosses and stuff. And there's like a there's a decent amount of bosses that are uh, that you can only get from these. Right, let's head back. They can only do in chalices and enemies and everything. So this is neat. It's just so weird that again that all this stuff is uh, kind of put tucked away in this game. You can't really find it that easily. Or like if it's not explained at all. Apparently you can get chunks pretty easily later on, so that's nice. Yeah, I need to restore- oh, okay, thank goodness. I need to restore my blood vials for sure. Alright, slow, that's fine. I don't mind slow and easy right now, considering, uh, what I went through with the frickin' Orphan of Coast. Yeah, I'm just gonna go for, like, I don't need my thrust max. I don't need maximum thrust anymore. Oh. There. Ooh, that's really good. God, I have all these, but I'm scared of getting rid of one, in case it's actually, like, good. There. Yeah, because I had stuff that was just maximizing my thrust attack, which I think was the best idea to go for. Like, that helped me- that really did help me beat the orphan. Uh, let's repair. Not enough blood echoes, oops. Then I won't have enough to fortify anything then either. You watched, listened- oh my- you didn't even skip through? Holy shit. Dude, if you noticed, like, I'm surprised. I really did not get mad. I got mad 
at certain times just because how the enemy works. It hasn't had myself for messing up, but I stayed. I feel like for a boss like that, I stayed pretty calm the entire like four hours I was fighting it. Like I knew I was messing up, and I just knew I could eventually get it. But Jesus, some of those attack combos that it does are just ridiculous. Like I know there's another enemy in here. Yeah. I I got mad a few times, but it was more like like these combos. Like I'm just. I was frustrated because I just could not figure out how to, like, dodge some of those combos for such a long time. Hey there, buddy. There we go. Back to, like, back to, like, 300 da like 350 damage are one attack. That's what I want to see. Yeah. But, I'm, like I said, I'm the type of person who will ram their head into a brick wall and eventually break through it. Like, I knew I could do it. Like, I was on the way to doing it. A lot. Like, I was on my way. I just never, I was just having trouble finishing it off. There's just like a few points where it's just like, like getting comboed and some of those combos where like I'm just chain stunned are very frustrating. And that versus that boss because I'm just like spamming dodge and my character just standing there getting whacked because like they're perfectly timed attacks which are annoying because there's just so many of them that that boss does there's like four or five combos that he has where you can get like chain stunned if you get hit yeah I had a really good early attempt no, I'm, again, I'm the, like, I will sit there fuming for a while on some games, and I'm really bad at multiplayer stuff, I feel, which is one of the reasons why I really don't do much multiplayer anymore unless I'm, how. Oh. Unless I'm with friends. Because I feel like I just, I hate having to rely on randoms. Because I don't mind if I mess up. But I hate losing when it feels like I'm out of it's like out of my control, you know. And I feel like I get that a lot in multiplayer games. Like not like multiplayer like team games like Overwatch, like stuff like Call of Duty or whatever. I don't care. But it's like it's Call of Duty or whatever. But shit like uh, like Overwatch for sure is just blood boiling. And it's like, I, the, the other frustrating thing was like, I knew I beat the orphan before. Like, I know I can beat the orphan, sort of thing. I was still having so much trouble with it. Because that's just a testament to how hard that boss is. Because I beat that boss before, and it seriously took me like three and a half, four hours to beat before. And to have to fight, to fight that boss again, and he's still taking that long, on a replay, it's just like, just shows just how hard that boss is. Yeah. And it's weird, like, um, I'm pretty good in real life about not getting frustrated at people. It's like, for some reason, in-game I am <laughs> way more than in real life. I'm pretty, I feel like I'm fairly patient in real life. But also, I work by myself, like, now. Like, I don't work with others, like, ever. Like, I'm by myself for eight hours straight at work. Like, always. Unless something crazy's happening. So like, I'm used to just working by myself, like, which I like. I do like just working by myself a lot. Like, in group projects, I always prefer everyone just get their tasks and split up, sort of thing. God, these Chalice Dungeons, one thing is that they like, they're built from like, pre-made parts or whatever. Put together, so like, it can look very samey over time. Like, I feel like I'm gonna get myself lost a few times in here. Because it's like... The sense of direction is is off, I feel, in some of these. Like, it's hard to navigate around. Like, like this would be amazing if there's like a map button or something for the Chalice Dungeons. But I know that would be strange. Like, you know, they would never put that in like an actual game. Like, they would not put a map button in like Bloodborne or something. Okay, see, I already cleared this out. I, I 
I started talking and I got myself lost. Yeah, because the goal is to, like, always open, like, find and open, like, those doors. You need to find, like, a lever somewhere around here. And open that up. It's okay, again, I went up this way. But this is at least, like, a fixed dungeon, so this was specifically made in a certain way. Alright, did I ever go through this? Okay, yeah, okay, no. Now I'm getting my bearings straight, alright. I need to go over this way now. There we go. And there's the thing. I thought ch I thought chalices were not um bound by the new game stuff. I thought they were always like fixed difficulty. Like they didn't scale, but I might be wrong. Cause yeah, that's one of the reasons why I'm not gonna finish this game yet though, is that I'm gonna do all the chalices. I know there's some stupid ass challenges later on in these chalices, so I'm not looking forward to them. Like there's, I know for a fact, like that there's chalices where you have less health. So, that's one reason why I want to just pump Vitality. Keeper of the Old Lords, okay. Oh, let's bring out you. Oh, this is a hunter? I guess I just got another one as a drop. I also have high arcane, which is nice because I just get additional drops. And I feel like I should, um, I need to change up some of my runes right now as well. So I think I'm going to do that. Yeah, because there's going to be another, like, bonfire up ahead. Or lamp. Like, I need to change up some of my runes on here. But yeah, like, I I don't care too much about VR right now. I think it's a neat concept, but I just don't have, like, the space to really feel comfortable doing it. And I just don't... I don't know. I don't know if it's something I really enjoy. Yeah, I've heard about that. That, like, Renevi, that people have found, like, chalices where there's, like, like, straight up, like, unfinished things, which is pretty neat. I really, all right, visceral attacks, I might as well keep for bosses and stuff. Ride potential's good. I'm gonna switch the stamina one for a, uh, oh, where is it? Additional discoveries. I still forget, like, <laughs> if you look on the right side here, my character's name, I forget, is Sunburn Taurus. Like, I haven't taken his clothes off for a while. But actually, I'll do that real quick. I mean, leave his hat on, of course. But yeah, this is a character. You just again, some my sunburn tourist. He's like completely burned his face, and then like burned the rest of his body just sitting at the beach. And he's just completely pissed off. Every time he rolls, he's just like his entire body screams in pain. Like anytime he moves, like ah, 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 ooh, ooh. It's like he's got spicy skin right now. All right, let's just dress up. Let's look nice. Decorative old hunter guard. I want to look. I want to look good right now because I feel like this area is easy enough where I don't have to worry about. Oh no! no I don't want to look bloody. Oh, 
this looks nice. I like this. Let's do this. Eric Idle. God, I've heard that name before, but I'm not familiar. Oh, yes, look at that. Completed all that DLC. Hell yeah. Eric Idle. I, that name's so familiar, but also, like, far away. Okay, so I can buy some chalice material, which will probably come in very useful later on. I'm gonna actually have to get some bloodstone shards. I might as well spend on some of that right now. To upgrade some of my uh, earlier weapons. 2,000 each, and eh, worth it. I got that boom hammer I want to try, so I'll eventually do that. Oh, Monty Python. Yeah, that's right. Yep. Okay. Was he the main character of Life of Brian? Is that who I'm thinking of? That Eric Idle? No? Okay. I'm trying to remember which face it is for Monty Python. Because there's Cleese, of course. He's very well known. John Cleese. Oh, that was Graham Chapman. Okay. I've only watched a few Monty Python stuff, actually, overall. I watched, uh, I've not actually watched all of Life of Brian. I liked, um, oh gosh, what was the name of it? Oh, why can't I think of the name of it? I watched it a few times right now, like... It's about, kind of like, life in general. I remember it's the spot where the... That's the one where the fat guy is, like almost gonna burst with food and he keeps on eating and like the one way for thin mint is what kills him yeah life of brian it seems really great i mean of course i watched monty python but i'm also a big fan of like medieval fantasy stuff i mean that like that's why i play, play runescape i really like the atmosphere meaning of life yeah yeah like i like the atmosphere of like medieval stuff a lot so like yeah it's one of the reasons why i really like uh that sort of thing. So like, My Python is great with that. Which is funny, because My Python kind of came out way before a lot of that, uh... I mean, there's still... Like what? My Python was... In the Holy Grail? Was that like 70s? Sage's Rift, that has to... Yeah, that's a... Another item. Yeah, how do you, all of Holy Grail, yeah. Exactly. Again, I'm confusing my stuff a lot. 70s, yeah, so that's like before most of like the D&D &D and a, before a lot of that stuff. I mean, there's always still like medieval fantasy, but it wasn't as in popular culture, I guess. Or it was more like, I mean, it was just King Arthur and stuff, you know, it's not like the, uh, I guess it's considered low fantasy, kind of. I don't know, it's not like the dungeons and elves and like warlocks and things like that. Alright, I, I didn't even this. Okay, there's something to take down there. Where is it? There. There we go. You chalices? Yeah? Well, thank you. I've never done chalices, so it's time to... Oh, God. Time to do all of them. I know this is like takes forever to do all of them, too, I believe. But, yeah, it's kind of neat that, like, that, like... Holy Grail predated a lot of that, uh... Okay, I guess I don't want to... Okay, I will take this guy out. It predated a lot of that, uh, like... Dungeons of Dragons. That was more like, I know, like, 80s stuff. More into, like, the high fantasy. But, I've done everything else in this game now. Like, I've completed all the areas, all the bosses. I've done all the DLC stuff. All right, this is where I get up. Whoops. Whoop, no, I want to do this. All right. Oh, dang it. They were prepared. Dang it, I want to I wanna chainsaw everybody, but they're actually attacking me. Come on. There. <laughs> That's fun. That's a fun weapon. It's actually pretty strong, too. I mean... I use that to help kill uh, the orphan. I'm very glad I killed that orphan. You know, this game is uh, anti-orphan propaganda as well. How? 
I hope with my like arcane high enough and my additional like discoveries up that I'll be able to find other things. Like that I'll be able to find the materials easy enough. I mean, I can purchase stuff with insight as well, so that'll be nice. Oh, whoops, this is where I came from. Because what? Like, King Arthur stories have always been pretty popular, but I know Lord of the Rings is probably one of those things that really got medieval-ish, like, fantasy up there, but what were some of the other early stuff? Because I'm not fully aware of a lot of that, actually. Get on. Oh, yeah, I, I have Beast Claws. I haven't used them yet. It's just so hard to actually, uh, or I have the, I got the badge that lets me buy them, but I haven't bought them yet. But there's just so many things that I haven't, um, gotten up because it's too hard to get all the upgrade materials. So I'm hoping some of this Chalice Dungeons will help. Does this Hand Lantern not work for, oh, it was on. It's... Okay. I can summon somebody. I'm not going to. I can summon somebody. Prospect your old look. Oh. <laughs> Tiny chest! Oh my gosh. Tiny chest. Yeah, Ro oh that's right, Dub Robin Hood. For a while, there's a lot of, like, Greek mythos fantasy, I think, early on, as too. Like, Jason the Argonaut stuff was always fairly popular. Like, Iliad, Odyssey, all that stuff. Which, I've read the Iliad before. And that was nice. Neat. I mean, it is just, like, a big adventure tale. But it's not bad, by any means. I mean, it's, it's ancient. Oh, more of you. I don't like these enemies. Okay, you can... Alright, if they're in a narrow hallway, they're pain, but if they're in the open, they're super easy. Gotcha. That's nice. Oh, gosh. Were Chalice Dungeons... So Chalices were on release, right? Or are they a separate DLC? Where are you? There you are. Three musketeers as well, yeah. We're just again, yeah, so much of that stuff. Oh hey buddy. Whoops. I wanna kinda clear all these out because I do want all the ritual material as well. Okay, so these were from the start, so. That's actually kind of comforting, because that means that Orphanicos will probably be the hardest boss that I face. There might be, like, bosses with, like, specific permutation stuff that's going to be harder than the Orphan. But in terms of, like, just straight up, um, like, the boss itself, without, like, the permutations of, like, health or damage taken or given or whatever, there might be. That there probably won't be anything harder than this. Maybe. Yeah, it, it is weird just seeing all these enemies that aren't in the regular dungeons, like aren't in the regular game in here, like those scorpion enemies. It's like, because most people will miss that, because I don't know how many people will go through all these dungeons, so there's, there are a decent amount of enemies that people will never see. I guess it was always kind of like that, though, because there was always those, um, there's unique enemies that were like incredibly rare in all the Souls games that like spawn from like dropped items in the overworld or whatever. Like if a player dropped an item, it might show up on another world. Yeah, fire dog, yeah. Fire dog seems really nasty again. Like it was hard enough the first time, but I was also way under leveled, I think, for the fire dog. Okay, so there's a bit of a walk to this then. All right, what boss is down here? I 
I think you're right, they kind of expected chalices to, to, while you're doing it, but no one's gonna, like, halt, I feel like no one's gonna halt their forward progress to do chalices. Yeah. Like, who's gonna, yeah, who's gonna halt their progress to do that, you know? I might as well just buy a bunch of quick, like a bunch of uh, these, so I never have to worry about them. All right, so uh, I guess we'll just move on here. Right, actually, I mean, I can get rid of this one now. I don't care. Yeah, remove the chalice. All right, so okay, I need more blood echoes. Whoops. All right, I can do all the. All right. All right yeah, I need more ritual blood for. So depth, I'll, depth of difficulty, right? Okay, I need to, I need to farm some stuff real quick. Let's farm some souls. Uh, I guess let's go back to the good farming spot for a minute. Yeah, it's like, yeah, you're doing it, and it's like, why would I stay here, you know? Like, why would I continue to be here? Like, I, the thing is, there's no obvious indication that you're making progress, either, in these. It's like, okay, there's these dungeons, the game doesn't explain chalices at all, it, like, the game pretty much just hands you a chalice after you defeat a boss, and I, even on my second playthrough, I thought that was, like, required progress, but then they probably beat the one. And they're like, okay, I'm not, like, I didn't get anything from it, other than, like, other chalices. I'm trying to be, oh, come on. Let's just kill you. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I thought as well, like, I want the fixed versions of things. Like, when it says fix, that's how I know that it's, uh, that it's gonna be something I want. I really don't need that many more Blood Echoes, I guess. need to kill the other pigs. I don't need that much, I just needed enough. Yeah. Oh, you can get ultimate versions of weapons from them? Really? I didn't know that. Huh. I know there's ultimate versions, like, like, are they, like, the same weapon, but, like, with different stats on them or something? Alright, let's just, uh, yep. Different upgrades. Huh? Oh, okay. So I can get one, alright, without, like, a triangle <laughs> slot or whatever, if I wanted it. Now, what do I want from here, anyway? I have, yeah. I guess I should... Where is it? 
I thought I could get the beast. Oh, there. I have the beast cutter. I thought I had, like, another one else that I could have gotten, but I guess not. Oh, well. Uh, I need more of these in general. Right now. I had, so, I had, like, over 90 of them earlier in this game, but now I'm, like, out of them. Okay, way better jumps. That's neat. I don't mind, like, again, I did all the main game stuff, and then I'm going through these, because this is also something that I can just chip away at. I don't want to be like, I do not want to be like, oh, I have all these chalices to do before I can go on to the next area sort of thing, like, limit myself like that way. I'd rather have everything else completely done, like I do now, and then try these chalices. Oh, damn. Really powerful damage stuff, then. Well, I'll just see. I'm kind of disappointed that, like, there's all these, like, poison jumps and stuff, and I feel like poison is just not useful at all in this game. Like, why would I ever go for, like, a poison build or whatever? Like, even in, um, the other Souls games, when I've tried doing stuff with poison, it's all been pretty useless. And I've always been sad. It seems like it'd be neat, but just not worth it. Like, I thought for sure in, uh, Dark Souls 2... When I had my, like, super low level character, like, low everything except for magic slots. Oh, this is gonna be a trap. Yep. I thought for sure magic would be somewhat u- I mean, like, poisoning stuff would be somewhat useful in my dagger build, but it was still just worse than just attacking stuff. Yeah. But I feel like even then, it drains so slowly, it's- Like, even, like, unless you can get rapid poison, but- there's also a lot of enemies that are just feels like they're either immune or like insanely high resistance to poison. I've just never found it useful. There's probably specific in instances, like you said, where it's good, but I just can't seem to find them. All right, looks like there's. All right, I have to go over this way. What the heck? So generic enemy doesn't die in one hit anymore? What's going on? I actually have to pay attention and not, like, dodge stuff right now? Unbelievable. Actually. Oh! What the- Okay, this is- Okay, this is bad. This is actually bad. Jesus. Where are you? Where are you, bitch? Like, I don't say it that lightly. She, whoever is summoning red spiders to attack me is an actual bitch. Oh, Jesus. I can't actually, like, heal without taking damage. Alright, where is she? You! You, 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 you died. Alright, there's these other spiders, but at least I got... Oh god, what are you? Okay, those spiders are... Look at Oregon. Those spiders are actually scary. Like, they actually do a lot of damage. I actually have to be careful. I need to actually stop saying actually. I should have tried attacking to see how much health they have before I just started sprinting away, though. So they didn't seem to have that much health. Like, yeah, I can two-hit them pretty easily, which means I should be able to, yeah, one-hit them. They seem to have, like, 500 health. Alright. That was me being, like, I thought they are going to be, like, 900 health or something.
Yeah, dungeons have hidden walls, but I don't want to search for them, I guess. But yeah, Dark Souls, like, yeah, it feels like, yeah, that's the option that you have to do with poison, is that you have to get it and then just run away forever. Like, you poison something, then you just run away and dodge for, like, a million years. So am I missing something? Because, like... I want to look over at this area. Cause this feels like a boss arena right here, so I don't want to go forward. So let me just look around again. There's pro you're right, there probably are hidden walls here. I guess that's annoying too, it's like, why would you ever poison your weapons in the Souls games where, like, it does actually way more damage just to hit them with your normal weapon, and to worry about trying to deal poison? Is there a way to get over this way? I mean, there's over this way, but did I miss something over this? Oh yes, I probably did. Oh, pff, I'm an idiot, there's a door just right here. I was too worried about the spiders to actually just open that. Alright. I'm gonna go back just to refill my vials in case this boss is actually done. Woo! Good jump by me. Return real quick. Alright, they're always flat. Alright. I never liked the hidden walls too much in these Souls games, because a lot of times they're hard to actually find. I mean, they're supposed to be hard, but there's like no indication that it's a hidden wall most of the time. Cause there's like 20 other walls that look identical to that specific wall. Archway, like an archway, all right. Like, at least in a lot of like shooters and stuff I play, like a lot, of, especially old school shooters, Hidden walls are there, but they're usually like misaligned textures or um, they look like they're out of place, I guess, or like they're easier to spot. Like you have to be looking for them, but you can spot them sort of thing. Or like in this game and most of the Souls series, they are just actually like a normal wall that you can walk through or attack. And then they changed it up where you had to press A on the wall instead of attacking it. in 2, and so that just like threw everyone off. Like most people in 2 didn't realize there's hidden walls at all, because you couldn't hack them. Okay. Alright, still do a lot of damage, that's nice. Alright. Get dumb. too greedy right there. I was like, oh, let's just go for the dunks instead of just doing it. Yeah. <sighs> I hate gank fights in general. I don't think, I like, I don't like ONS. I don't like any gank fight pretty much in any of the Souls games.
because I feel like the goal of the gang fights is that you're never gonna get an opening to do anything. Like you're always just screwed up. One, but then I get randomly hit by like shotgun guy. Yeah, the chief is annoying because he's actually super aggressive. I'm guessing, I'm guessing like the type of dungeon it is will have different bosses as well. I mean like these are like the first set or whatever type of chalice. There's like the hinter tomb style chalices and like the aging Loran chalices or whatever. I assume there's different bosses depending on which one you're in but maybe not. I don't know. Alright let's uh try upgrading some stuff. Yeah, let's try. I want to get this up. This holy blade. I need more chunks. Or no. And then I want to get this holy moonlight sword up as well. Uh, I can't buy it. Or no, I can buy a chunk here. Or twin bloodstone shard. I want to get this up to try it out as well. And there's stuff like this, like Beast Cutter, which seems neat. Church pick I'm not going to use. Boom Hammer seems interesting as well. But then I need Twin Bloods. Also, I might as well get this up as well. S Scaling. Uh, did I get any more blood gems that are interesting? So I got like, yeah, I got some like type fours or whatever. Ooh, that's just better. Yeah, okay, that's the one I got from that. Yeah, that's just a straight better one to use. God, uh, I guess I can get rid of all the tempering stuff, like everything that isn't like the highest level of a certain tier. I'm just gonna get rid of, I think. I can just sell. There's just so many of them. Or like, I don't know, like yeah, like these, like tempering threes, and then sell all these fours, I guess. 
to see the highest value ones, I guess. Sell these fours as well, I guess. Yeah, the, just the ratings, I guess. So just hold on to a few of them. Adept. Rating 8, yeah, I'll just hold on to that one, I guess. Rating 13. No, 8 slow, I mean. That's slow. Like, there's just so many things that I kind of should get rid of. Hold. Arcane scaling could be useful, actually. On the orphan thing. Yeah, because I have... Oh, dang. Attack versus the kin way up. I should have used that versus... Ah, uh, dang it. I should have put that on, maybe. When I fought the orphan. There's a damn, like, yeah. I just have so many unique gems, but I feel like I'm not going to use, like, 90% of them. I don't know. Anyway, let's just keep on going. I can't span for you forever looking at gems, but it is weird. Like, this mid-level, like, chalice, the one gem from it is already better than any other gem I found in the game to put into my Kirk hammer. That's just pretty amazing, I guess. Just how good some of these gems are. But you guys are right. These are really good gems in here. Because I imagine later on I'm going to find some much more amazing gems. I'm also worried that at some point I'm going to have to like... Maybe not worry, but I'm probably going to have to like farm for additional chalice materials. Okay, I've seen this like... I mean, they're still set, but I've seen this exact, like, this layout before, sort of thing. Not exact, but, like, kind of. Oh, it's not open. I see Scorpion over there. At least most of the chalices seem fairly short, which is nice.
Warriors. God, that takes so long to wind up. I should not go for that. <laughs> oh, that's good. Oh, wow, that is good versus big boys. Jeez Louise, that is fun. Grinding that boy up, son. Holy crap. Okay, I'm just getting rid of that noise. I actually just grinded that boy up. Alright, there's a couple enemies that drop stuff down here, so let's go grab it and head back. Blood vial? Why not? And blood vials, alright. Lots of enemies over there that move fast. Oh, they're rats, I think, but okay, I can get those later. Again, I just want to explore this because I need it. I don't want to have to, like, farm for chalice materials. I don't have to, so I'd rather, uh... I'll explore here and try to get more, like, materials. Because I already opened up the path to the boss. Yeah. blood that's good two mold all right oh so I know I need ritual blood four eventually as well so I need to get that but that'll probably be something I just unlock later I guess that was it for this room can't really complain is there anything over here So coming up soon, the like a few months, a couple months ago, I played something called the Dread X Collection, and uh, a new one's coming out I think today. So sometime in the next few days, I'll probably do more. I'll do it. I'll play the Dread X Collection too. hitbox sucks sometimes. Oh, that ain't kill. Let's get the pull. I can stand one of these and it moves me up or down. So I guess that was it. I killed a bunch of rats. I'm missing something because there's an area that I could have walked around to, so maybe again I just missed like something simple. Like I was supposed to climb up and find something else over here. Or something that I miss. Because it looks like there's some scorpions or something that I could fight. Yeah, like, 
How do I get to here? There's probably something in that rat area that I missed. I don't think there's anything up here. Unless... What was that noise? You said they look like regular archways, right? So... There's more to do here. Jeez. Open the ten trillion hell. Yeah, I guess there's more to do here. So that's what loops around. Spamming like the the locate enemy thing. I'm surprised being stung by the scorpion doesn't like gradually build poison. trillion rats to deal with. Pizza Cutter is pretty good at those rats, at least. I wonder how this is, like, if I ever got, like, a PC port... Or like somebody would mod in like way more enemies that could be handled like on a PS4. Like there's like a Dark Souls 3 mod that adds like triple the enemies or something like that. And I imagine like somebody doing the same thing but on Bloodborne. Where it would normally like just chug the engine on a PS or chug it on a PS4 it could run fine. Otherwise. A lot of noise. Wow. Big area. In general, they put just more enemies here than they usually would. Like, in like most of the other areas, this is like Chalice, they'll just put more enemies.
damage. Holy shit, I did so much damage. I kinda wanna switch off this saw though. Cause it's decent, but I also was in Workshop Haze Extractor, okay. That's a new item. I saw something like talking about this item and the loading thing. It feels like I can remove something from this, from these. Now how do I climb up here? Alright, is there a way to climb up over here or something so I don't have to deal with that more? Probably not. Eardrums. This dungeon's lot much larger than the other one I felt. Just one? Alright, I only see one. That's why I can always use twin bloods. Whoa, that that's some tracking I have there, buddy. I touch a pile of Woo! Oh my. What is going on? Is it like the gnome like blue thing right there? Alright, there's actually some like tricky stuff around here. It's not just walk through an area, there's actually like traps. I did not realize it was filled back it was come back up. I guess it just comes on its own. Nothing? No point? Okay. Oh, there's a... Right there. Jeez. Wow, the game's giving me a lot of blood vials at least, so that's nice. Game's saying sorry for like throwing a million things at you, here are some blood vials. To make up for it. Can you pay closer attention right here? Guy was just hiding in a coffin. Are you fucking kidding me? Oh, I was... Okay, now I 
knocked me out of that. Oh shit, he can buff enemies around him? Yes, he can! Jesus. I didn't realize he had that ability. Yeah, I've seen that before and I wondered what it did. I'm just gonna heal the hole to be made. Yo, Ritual Blood 4, that's what I wanted. something crying but I can't reach it I think unless it's like the boss I can't like do anything about it right now all right so there's like nothing back behind here no all right all right there is a hidden wall all right what does it look like then like you said it's just like a regular archway so it'd be looking I wouldn't be looking like that. But normally it would be like something like this, but it's not here. Yeah. heads up on that. Again, I don't mind, like, backseating in this game or whatever, because I've already beaten it and this is just, like, clearing stuff out now. At this point. Uh, how do I want to head back? Just swaying back. That's it. It's not like an, another enemy just, like, hidden somewhere like that who's making noise. Alright, I can head back. I have 52,000. Like, holy crap. Like, you get a lot from, like... I understand why the developers kind of want you to do some of these. But... It's, again, weird that they want you to do this, but at the same time... It's like a pain to actually try to go through and do these. You know? Oh, hey. Glad I looked around. It's like, I could explore all these unique areas, or I could just run through these chalices trying to figure out where the hell I'm going, you know? Oh, hey, I never went this way? Alright. I'm getting myself lost. Okay, never went... These areas are so huge. I guess I killed these? Yeah. I'm getting myself lost. Yeah, that's true. They give you a... I mean, at least I'm getting some blood vials here. Alright, so this is... Another way through all this sh shit. God, this one dungeon is so huge. Alright. This is where I unlocked, but I I'm gonna spend these because I can just easily run right back. So there we go. Jeez though. Yeah, I'm gonna try not using a walkthrough unless I really need to. 
My goodness. What a freaking area. I kind of want to... I, I have enough that I can just... Gammon awaits you. Go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Very well, let me... Let's get another Vitality. Until I start actually getting, like, no returns, I think I'm just going to pump Farewell. Vitality for a while. Because I know what's going to happen. Like, I'm going to end up with that one fucker. Like, where my, like, Vitality is cut in half. So if I can pump it, I don't know if it'll help me, but I guess it's just good in general. You know? Also, again, if I get bored of these, I can always just call it good and I won't feel like I'm waste like I just like stopped in the middle of something. Because I can switch over to a different game anytime, I guess. And it's be like, okay, now I just know where I'm at with these chalices and I just go to the next level, you know. It's easy to do in like chunks. More than like uh an area where like I, I don't want to start a new area, you know. Like when I played this, I kinda stopped at some points because I didn't feel like completely like doing a new area. I didn't want to stop like halfway through it. Where like for these it's like, okay, I can easily like stop anytime I want and pick these up again. And I won't feel bad at all. It won't feel weird. Alright, what is what is down here, buddy? What boss am I gonna get? Alright, let's see, what do you say? Though? Time for focus on evasion. Uh-oh. As long as I enjoy it. Oh, you again! What are you doing? Wow, that's a lot of damage, but I was also in the middle of dying. I want to do this. I want to see how this works. Alright, that does some damage. does a lot of damage. Alright, the pizza cutter does not seem to work against this boss. I won't be able to stun it with the pizza cutter. I'm pizza putter. Pizza putter. Pizza cutter will be fi uh, like it's fine against like I think normal large enemies that you can stun but that looks like a large enemy that is like a boss large enemy that I can't stun. Or if I can it's not in the way I think I can. Yeah, it does a lot of damage, and it, like with the balls and chains and stuff on it, I feel like I can't just dodge as easily. Yeah, like that move. Every time. Miss. 
Thanks, Vangira. That felt pretty good, I guess. Okay, there's more over here. That felt- that was a nice fight. Like, again, I'm a little overleveled for this, but at the same time, like, I don't mind being overleveled for these. Yeah, like a pizza cutter? I mean, it's a very specific tool, and honestly, um, if you notice, like, most pizza spots don't actually use pizza cutters at all. They just use, like, a giant, like, rolling knife that they can, like, rock back and forth over the pizza real quick. That's, like, better than a pizza cutter. Because the problem with a pizza cutter is it's actually very hard to... A pizza cutter, I found, is not actually good for cutting through, like, harder crusts at all. Like, it doesn't even do its, like, job very well. Jeez, I guess. I don't know. I, I think, like, just, like, a long double-ended knife, like, you know, that you can rock back and forth with if you've seen those. They're, like, kind of, like, curved almost. Like, no, like they're curved-looking knives. I think those would be better in general. All right. So that's where the boss is. Yeah, I kind of want to switch off the pizza cutter, so... Like, two of the weapons that I kind of want to, like, use it... Oh god, that's a mini ROM. They weren't all mini ROMs, right? Oh jeez. These guys are sprinting. Oh, it's a bell person. I hear a bell. You are dead. You are dead, you are dead, you are dead. Are there multiple bell people? There are there have to be multiple dead pe bell people, because these guys are still alive. Or no, if they're just staying dead at least, I guess. Feel like they're in, like there's a lot of people underneath me right now. Oh jeez. All right. This is gonna get very interesting very quickly. All right, let's take off one of these, I guess. You first. Hades is Ah, holy sh- Holy shit! That's a lot of damage. Jesus. Okay. Gotta watch out for that. Pizza crusts are alright. The problem with a lot of them is that they're kind of flavorless. Like, you really need, like, some, like- If there's, like, a nice, like, garlic and herb. Or, like, cheese, like, crust then it's good. But I'm not a just big a fan of like regular end crusts. Okay, that's just another that's just a spider, so I'm going yeah. That's a unique attack pattern. Actually, I'll look up at some point what the arcane haze extractor does because I'm guessing it gets arcane haze from something so I can like create arcane haze with it. Well, actually, it's probably in here. Is it in here? I think I might have to get it from somewhere, or I'll, I'll next time I go back to the. 
I kind of want to get my Beast Hunter axe up again. Or maybe something else. Oh, God. okay. It cut out. Don't worry. I can reset it real quick. I'm just in the middle of a fight. Not much is happening. I'll describe what's going on. I'm trying to fight the Bell Lady, and she's still summoning like a million people, so it's annoying. Alright, I killed the Bell Lady. Got my echoes back. Uh, I'm not getting attacked, so I can do this. There we go. Okay, he converts other materials to haze. Alright. I was gonna say, yeah, I know I can do them with that overhead I can get. I can get a missile. So many of these. Yeah, I don't want to be far away from it because it'll do that move. Jesus. anywhere other than directly next to it. I'm getting arcade haze from this. What are those? Oh, I don't like that. I do not like looks of that. There's so many of these. You're so low. Let me just kill you. Close up, these aren't that bad, but you cannot give them any range. Where did they? Alright, whatever. Jesus. Alright. Where is that nasty, like, group? I have no idea where they are. I guess we're just gonna take out this guy. Or not? 
this is also throwing stuff at me. Can I lure one? I feel like if I lure one, I... Only two blood vials from that? Kid of me, man. So what was the point of this area? Yeah, remember when I needed them? Yeah, I remember that. I mean, I still will need them eventually to level up my other stuff. Alright. The, the, okay, the problem is, I'm gonna have to run all the way over here if I die again. That's actually a problem, because that room is nasty. other stuff scurrying about. Don't like this. I don't like having to like sprint through all that and run over here if something bad happens. Yeah. Those players are not too worried about by themselves. In a group they might get scary. Something again that's strange that these chalices are just kind of full of these like. Kind of, I'm not gonna go through any of these side doors. Yeah, I'm just gonna explore the top to see what other side doors there might be. But like, there's so like there's a lot of the chalices and stuff just full of these like empty areas. There's like not much going on at all. Like this entire spot. this entire area with like only one spot I needed to go in all this. Like okay. I'm surprised I still have 15 blood vials because I've been, I mean I know a lot of stuff drops them but I've been just like working my way through this area for a while now. I'm not looking forward to what's guarding the uh, path forward either. Is it just... Okay, I guess never mind. It's just this guy? I was really expecting, like... 
like a really nasty enemy guarding the way forward. Not like the, the easiest of the big boys. Yeah, because like that does like no damage. Alright. Oh. Drop down onto this at all? No, of course not. Why would I be able to drop down onto like the spot I need to go back? I don't think I can make this, but I'm gonna give it a shot. Okay, can't drop down on that? Eh, whatever. I should have just. I need to buy some. What else is here? Sounds like I missed some enemy somewhere, so let's go get him, I guess. Where did you come from? You weren't here earlier. You were not here earlier, what the fuck? before they become like blood hungry or before they fill up on blood interesting because it's like doesn't have like the claw ends or like still more humanoid all right let's head back Gammon awaits you. Very well, let me. Hell yeah. Wow, that used like almost. Oh. I had almost exactly enough. thing is, I don't get why there's even weapon durability. I feel like it's just not that important. Wait, why is it the Tempering Blood Gem 4 is less than the Tempering Blood Gem 5? It's better than the Tempering Blood Gem 5. Like, really? I don't understand this game sometimes. That's why I don't really want to get rid of anything. Turn stuff into arcane haze, I guess. Huh. I need it for. Alright, if I need to get those, I can do it. Alright. That's what 
they're saying pretty much. <laughs> okay, I'm like almost out of quicksilver bullets, so I need to buy some more. Like truly. Alright, let's see what this boss is and see if it kicks my ass or not. I wonder if I'm gonna fight, start fighting bosses that I fought before in the main game. You know? Oh, it's the wrong way. I wonder if I'll get some of those. I mean, I probably will. That might be neat. Might be. I'm, I'm kind of worried what BS are gonna throw at me. Oh, there's more areas for me to explore. Never mind. Gotta do this first. I think that just boosts enemies around me, but... Alright, Ritual Blood 4, cool. Yeah. Again, this is weird that this was part of the main game and there's a lot of hours worth of content in here. But at the same time, it's like... Very few people actually fully go through this. I, I feel bad for all the people who worked on the Chalice Dungeons, and it turns out, like, barely anybody actually went through them, you know? Oh, God. Love you, Rick Hammer. Thank you, Kirk Hammer. Oh, God, you... That means if I can always farm those bag boys for more ritual blood, if I need it. And again, I don't really want to farm, and I feel like I should be fine most of the way. Those ritual blood floors are nice though. As much ritual blood as I can get. I think I only did like a very small amount of chalices when I first played. My first playthrough. I think I only did like one or two. Like I did the one that you get from the Blood Star Beast, and I think I did one more, and that was it. Alright, lure everything real quick. I could not heal a dog. Just crumbled like crazy. Holy shit. Yeah, those dogs are a pain, yeah. Like, I didn't see those, they did not do those fire attacks on me before, so that caught me by surprise. I also like how this is complete, I mean, like these are optional dungeons, but this path is optional in the optional dungeon.
which I think is kind of funny. Double up, no, hey, more twin bloodstone shards. Excuse <laughs> me. Uh, it's just like, I don't know. So much to do in these dungeons. They're not so optional. Oh. Huh. Contain progression items, okay. Thanks for the heads up on that, I'll make sure it always. Oh shit, there's a bad guy still? Oh my gosh, I didn't realize. Oh, oh that's fun. Oh, I have to go forward to lure the bad guy as well. Oh, that's great. What a room. That's like eight enemies just in one little room. Jeez. They're not messing around. Well, I've been going to all these rooms as well, so that's fine. I'm glad I have such high item discovery right now as well. So I, I'm getting all these, uh, I'm getting all these items. I didn't get the big hit on him. These are the easy ones. Yeah, these are the easy ones because they probably don't have like the bullshit modifiers on them. I mean, these aren't too bad, it's just more like I'm getting ganged up by enemies more than anything. Alright, so walk forward. Oh god, he buffed everybody and just led the game. I think that buffs everyone. Alright, come down here, dog. I mean, this is like a depth four chalice, I think. I mean, that's still down there. All right. Ow. <laughs> Buddy, I see you, bad guy. Get over here. Kill you in a second. All right, let me just pick up this item. There we go. Do not put yourself in a corner. That's a bad. Idea. Well, it's usually a bad idea, but you. I, I thought you were gonna get changed, then, but you didn't. Thanks for the blood vial, so. Yeah, I'm not looking forward to those gimmick dungeons. I have to do those gimmick dungeons to make all the progress, though, right? To actually, like, get to the last... Because there is an end boss of all this, I'm pretty sure, right? Like... Like, there's, like, a final, like, person that you get to at the bottom. Oh, jeez. More spiders.
Really? So yeah, I have to do those gimmick stuff to get to it. There's like no way around it, which is just gonna suck in general. Oh, they're all the ROM spiders, so I, I have to hit them on the side. Jeez. I think that's it for up here. So I guess I just drop down here. Oh, oops. I hear more pattering. So many of them are just like, I mean, they're meant to be like dungeons, but they're also just really dark in general. Like, they look pretty samey so far. But they have to be because they're like repetitive content. Or like they... Okay, there's nothing... Did I miss something? Because that just goes around the loop here. Back to here. Oh no, I never went this way, I guess. Say like, there's usually items hidden around here, like or a chest or something, and I felt like I didn't see anything. Like that. All right, what is this? Therefore, you must accept. That. All right, ritual blood. Is that it? Okay, there's a big chest here. All right, thanks. Well, I think I killed everything, so that's good. Also, holy crap, I didn't realize. I have 47,000. That's a lot. You get a lot of uh, souls from these, or blood echoes, I mean. This would be really good, I guess, to, uh, like, if you're, like, just casually playing through the game in general, and... appears out of nowhere. Alright, also. Just so I can actually see a little bit better. I'm gonna be the last room with the small steps up. Like back over are you saying back over this way where I was? This way you're saying? Oh, can I make it? I'm blind. Like, there's like a big chest here and I don't see it. I don't like these fog effects either. I 
Yeah, I don't see a big chest in here. There's just a small guy. I'm gonna search around. Chalice, I am not sure. Is there a way of like, there's not a way of easily seeing that either. And I don't wanna go back. Like, I don't want to go back around and, like, look for it. Like, look at the name. It's either a depth 3 or depth 4 one, I believe. Might be a depth 3, actually, Chalice, not a depth 4. Feels like this room there might have been something that I missed in here. Okay, there we go. I never went this way. God, I thought I had the gun out. Jeez. spending a few souls every time so I don't have to run back all that way. Okay, yep, this is layer 3 of Lord Thumerian. I think that's how you pronounce it. Jeez. I could level up my talent again. So let's get some of these real quick. Cause I'll whatever boss I'll be able to I'll just be, I think I'll be able to afford the next set of stuff. Like I can just I'll be able to get the blood echoes for the next channels after this. Spot where you like you just stop gaining vitality in general, I believe. And that's I guess why I'll stop. Oh, they more prospector Olin. Let's turn you on. Er. Alright. Rom? Again? What? Fucking with me, game.
nursing deep. Deep, deep, deep. Wait, it's still going? What the hell? There's another layer to this? Okay. I feel like Ron would have been like the last layer of this. Like, that'd make that'd make sense. It's only fifteen thousand. I can afford losing these, I guess, if it comes down to it. I don't think there's going to be a fourth layer to this. Go up into two different rooms as well. Where the hound? Oh, shit. Down here, spider. Fuck that. I'm not gonna find them. I'm not gonna just spam every single thing. <sighs> oh shit, though. Yeah, this is where the, the axe would be better than the hammer right here. I kinda wanna get the axe again, but and then I'd have to like take all that time leveling it up. Okay, there we go. I'll eventually hit him. Before I go up. Alright, that, that's so weird. Like, I have to just do this little loop real quick. In this level. That's funny. I have to do that little loop. There's no other way around it. There's nothing else to do. Alright, what if I go left? Go over this way. Hey, buddy. Oh, you're still alive. Good try, buddy. Okay. Boom. seems stupid, but I just want to try this. These dogs, like, you can't let them set up on you, I feel. 
You just gotta like go in and just. so hard I can't even heal. There we go. That's how you do it. Every easy every time. Sometimes my IR2 fully connects and just doesn't do anything. Alright, again, yeah, just. Nice. Like, my R2 like, fully connects, but it only does like half damage or something like that. Where it's trapped, but I thought like there's gonna be something else. Jesus, that's so much damage. Where is she? Okay, there is a trap. up there. Fuck! More spiders. Oh, so just a spectrum. I'm gonna actually I'm gonna have to go down there eventually. At least these guys are pretty easy to counter. More ritual blood four. Okay, I'll take that. Chest. Six two molds, okay. What's usually behind those secret walls then, Megara? If you're still here. Right, I'm gonna come go down and just see what's around here. Oh 
dang, that's a new one. Oh my fucking god. Wow. Extra materials. Or vent oh there's vendors as well, huh? Jesus, I did not expect to get full comboed out by those rats. Shit. Oh, I'm gonna have to go through read this all over again. I'm gonna have to use this as well because my weapon's at risk, and I'm not gonna I don't wanna back out just yet. Whatever. Whatever, I got this. Oh, okay. I'm gonna just try this. Alright, we're going to do this. And we're gonna say, uh... Screw it. We're gonna say see ya right there. Like, bye. I'm out. They're also behind that one spider that's actually fantastic. I dropped down the wrong one. I think I did. This was an... Alright, this was in the uh, fishing village as well, one of those looking for those features. Pay <laughs> no attention to this giant noise. Blood four. I'm getting a lot of that. Oh, hey. Okay, I can't, That's, I can't even stun this enemy by doing that. Wait, they're all stuck behind him? No, 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 do not, do not do this again, game.
God, those rats are sometimes really hard to hit. are super annoying. Let's shoot them all down so I can't I can't fall on any of them. Like they can't really hurt me too badly by themselves. Like, I can just run around them. How do I get up? I think I've gotten everything out of here now. So how do I actually get out of here? Oh, there we are. Alright, 63,000. Well, actually, no, those one enemies are still alive. I'm sure I want to just check one more thing over here again. Those enemies are alive back there, so I do not want to deal with that. And again, it's just... It's just this guy, so I'm going to double check this room. Might as well kill him again, you know. Nice. There's probably anything hidden in these walls then. These archways. Um, level up and then go to the boss. why anyone would do any of these that just like turns your weapon into like an arcade weapon or whatever. Like it has to only be good on the, the post parasite or whatever. It has to be like one of the only things it's actually good on. It'd be a neat thing if, like, the more insight you had, the more, like, hidden walls stood out or something. 
that would have been a nice little thing. But, I guess it's not a thing. I'm wondering, there's like, this room right here that doesn't seem to have like any purpose. But it doesn't seem like there's gonna be anything like hidden in this either. Right? Like why have this room, you know, if there isn't anything hidden? But oh well. I'm not gonna spend forever like trying to attack every single thing looking for hidden stuff. Oh, is there another side area here? Yes, oh man, I'm not, dang, I did not want another side area. I just wanted to go to the boss. But I have to like explore this. Good thing he, that guy's bad at aiming. Okay, I'll take that. Oh, I thought it was a flat right there. Oh, come on. Oh, I just need to kill this guy first. Okay. Oh, yeah, cover your gooch, man. What is this? Summon Madman Waller. Alright, Bengar, for anyone who can tell me, does the blue, what is the blue? Like, how, how is that different from the red stuff? I don't know how that would be different, but it's blue, so. I don't want to summon anybody to help me, but I'm just wondering why it's blue this time around. No idea, alright. It might be like a different faction or something, but, oh well. They can keep their secrets. Was I already here? No. That's great, I hear bells. I don't want to hear bells. That's great. There's a person like high above me that's summoning spiders. That's not good. Yeah, I, I'm not summoning this playthrough. I summoned a couple times my first playthrough and it, that was fine, but I don't feel like summoning right now. I'm not, I don't feel like doing it this playthrough. I'd rather do everything solo. Alright. I just want to find spiders. Oh, thank you. Like, I'm glad I did not get hit through the door at least. You. No, that's not, you're not spider lady. We're spider lady. Anything over here? I figure these aren't hidden walls, but you know. Yeah. Ow. You. sucks like I'm seeing like the same patterns over and over and over it still. Kill these side guys with the big guy. Alright, that wasn't too bad. It's 
Those side guys hit harder than the big guy did. Oh, that was a lingering ass hitbox right there. Yeah, this guy does not hit very hard. I'm happy with that. I'll take that. Alright, what are it what's here? What is here? Sage's wrist. I'm gonna be so sad if I do all these and just never find a hidden wall. I have, I'm gonna be like slashing stuff forever, never finding the actual hidden spots. It's like no music. Feels weird. I guess that's just another way to this. That gear, alright. I guess I've done everything. Alright. 20,000, I don't know if I want to go back for 20,000. I'm just going to continue on to the boss. If I get my ass kicked, I get my ass kicked, you know? Or er, is it still the right way? But we're a strong foe, and... Well, it's going to be back here. Long weapons affected. Well, I don't have a lot. That long weapon, so uh, let's get my ass kicked. What could possibly be here? Bloodletting beast.
I kicked my ass. I just did not. I just tanked that. Like, I played that so badly. Near the end, I did okay, I guess, but. I just kept going for those big R2s and missing. Because I hit those early on, so I thought I could just keep on doing that, but hey. that up because I have so many I can do farming if I need to. Alright, Defile Chalice. Okay, I don't have enough. Bastard of Loran. So, I can do this though. I can do some Hinder Tomb stuff. What are these other offerings? What is this? What do these do? do those because it doesn't tell me what they do. Okay, I can... I'll make a Hinter Tomb Chalice. I guess I have no idea what... Yeah. Here, fix that. And then... We are gonna make one of these as well. So that, uh, yeah. Huh. I can purchase some more stuff now. I can purchase two mold, I guess. Oh, what is this? Turns into like an arcane weapon, which it's fine if I'm going for an arcane. Like, like it feels like this could use the arcane thing. Yeah, like look at that. Boost arcane up. Like, yeah, I want to try this parasite eventually because I do have like a decent amount of arcane, so I can try it. I can sell some stuff. There's some things that I'll just never use. Oh, I don't want to get rid of any of these things. Dang, 
these ritual blood sell for a lot. Like, wow. I can sell a lot of this stuff, but I don't really want to. But either way, I think I'm going to call it good for now for the stream. It's a little under three hours. I think that's good for, like, part of this stuff. Yeah, let's get you up. Yeah. I don't mind. We're going to get this parasite up. As scaling. It's probably not good until I actually put a lot of stuff into it, but hey. Oh wow, I don't have anything that it, that actually works for that. It, like, nothing actually works for that. It said to stimulate phantasm from happening a lumen wood. So do you actually have to be like a lumen wood in order to use this or something? Like is it better if you're like uh Yeah. Does that does that just make it better? I can't tell. I don't think it did. I mean, I'll find more gems. That'll be good, I guess. Yeah, I, I don't want to be a lumen wood anyway. But either way, I'm gonna call it good for right now. Um, I might. I'll probably. Come, I I never. Anytime I say I come back, I never guarantee. I'm not gonna guarantee I'll come back and do something else later today. But if I do come back. Later today, I might do like RuneScape or something else, but we'll see. No guarantees, though. Not guaranteeing anything. Right. I got plenty of those still. Let's just get some more luck. <laughs> but that's going to be it for right now. Thanks for watching, everybody. Thanks for uh, stopping by, and uh, yeah, we'll try later to uh, maybe stream something else, because I've streamed a lot of this lately. But if I stream this again, I'll stream it again. But I got some time to kill. So have fun and thanks for watching.